to record some of his favorite songs so that we would have them, so that you could hear them, sing along with him. Everyone that knows my dad knows that he loves to sing. He loves to praise the Lord. And we, he's been singing since what, 19 what? 1960, when he first got saved. And he's still saved, so he's still singing. Ladies and gentlemen, my dad, Bishop Harry Grimsley Sr. God bless you. Hope you thank you for tuning in, listening in. We give God the praise. Lord, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this hour, thank this you, moment. Lord. We come together, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to the pastor here at Refuge Tipton, Bear Delaware. We praise God for your guidance and for your mercy. We hope these songs, songs of inspiration, can be encouraging in every one heart that is listening in. May God bless it and send his anointing and his power. Amen. We're going to sing a few songs to the glory of God. Amen. And down through the years, I mean, how God has been good to us in Jesus' name. So we're going, to, we're going to keep on, keep on, keeping on until the Lord come. And there's a song that starts so it says, Some way, some high. Lord.
Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad that 
let the law save me. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? So glad that the law You just sung a song, Dad, said, I'm so glad that the Lord saved, saved me. me. Yeah. What, what does that mean to you? Why is that song Amen. so yeah, special man. to you? It made me so glad that he saved me. Amen. Because uh, we found out coming up in life when you don't, when you think about it, when you're just growing along in, in, in your early age and your mother and your father, parents, they took you to church. So you begin to learn about the Lord, hear the preacher preach, and uh well, that's, well, that's what it what it mean to me. And then I've been listening, started listening to the Word of God from when I was young, back in the early age, six, seven years old, all that. Mom, um, they would always take it to church from a child. What always. church did y'all go to? We had called it the, the Balkan Baptist Church in, in, in uh, near Brown Cross Road. Brown Cross Road. Alabama. I think I remember Brown that church. Brown Cross Road, Alabama. Near that, right. But anyway... Thing of it is that keep listening to the word of God and and uh, 
in, in having Bible class in the home. And uh, and when I first uh, been going to church, you know, uh, one day we, we got I got baptized. I guess I must have been about uh, 12, 13 years old. When you got baptized? Yeah, when I got baptized, the first time I got baptized, they called it Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And uh, but mama say you gotta stop telling lies. You can't, you can't be lying. <laughs> that sounds like I'm grandma. Telling stories and all that. And you say you in church now. I say you done got baptized. But that you know I kept on doing my thing though. But then it kept on and the, and uh, then other relatives in the family, cousins, cousin got saved. And, and uh, we used to go house to house with Bible class down to my aunt's house, mother, and y'all said and all that visit them and mother and I would drive and take them and we would go sometime they would come to our house we have Bible class during the week you know before Sunday we have Bible class so I heard the word of God preached in the fullness and there in the baptism in Jesus name in Acts 238 in receiving the Holy Ghost you know this was in uh, uh, like 59 and 60 mm. 59 and 60 so I heard it so much and so in 1960, in the, in the end, of, end of, uh, the harvest time of the year, close to November, September, November, and uh, I heard the word of God, and I went in, and I, the man of God had preached to us, and we read the scriptures. So I went and spent the night with my cousin, and uh, we had been out on a Saturday night, and I came in, and on Sunday morning. And he got up to have a prayer. He asked, you want to have a prayer with me? So it was already on me to pray and to seek the Lord. But mm -hmm. I tell you, it, it wasn't no problem. I, we all we kneeled around in the home and around the bedside and because that's where we was in the house. And uh, we prayed, said, picture Jesus in your mind like you're talking to him. So don't listen to what everybody else say. And uh, they said something, and they never said, thank you, Jesus. And all I had to do was just repent. I repented and said, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I want to be saved. When I said that, and the power and anointing of God that came up on me, and my eyes were closed, and they lit up like the sky. My hand went together just like you turn the light, like the fan, clapped my hand and praising God, and I jumped up on my feet and shouted. It must have been about 30 minutes. After him, I felt the anointing and the power of God, and I received the Holy Ghost. A man took me and baptized me in Jesus' name and praised the Lord. And through that day, since 1960, I never turned my back on God. I mean, I, wow. and I, it had always been an easy day in a sense. And I've been through tests and trials, but God brought me out. Amen. Pray God. And He gave me strength to overcome. But the enemy tried to destroy my life. Amen. Pray God. But God kept me because I kept praying. I kept looking to God and preaching the word of God. And God is great. So that's what it means to me. Amen. To be saved. Amen. Pray God. Because I heard God's word. That's the only thing that can keep you is obeying the word of God. Doing what he said. And God, God's anointing, his power, his shadow will follow you as long as you in his word and in his will and keep you. If you get weak along the way or sometime and, and pray God, don't forget God and he will give you strength to overcome the power and the force of the enemy that's trying to take you out. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He will give you power to stand, but you have to rebuke the power of the enemy. Keep looking at Jesus. He's the author. He's the finisher of, of our faith. faith. So Amen. That's, that's my, I, I wouldn't quit for nothing. I remember Amen. you telling me a story about how when you came, when they brought you home, mm -hmm. your dad was sitting on the porch and your mom uh -huh. was standing at the front door. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as you got to the steps, you told him something. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I got to the steps, I cried out with a loud voice and the power of God said, Mother, he saved me. Amen. I shot it on in the house. Oh, wow. Amen. Pray God. That was after... We had had prayer that Sunday morning at my aunt's house, and they brought me home, and they brought me right on home. Oh, and so, wow. And I received the Holy Ghost, and God saved me. 
And I and they, when they put me out the car, everybody was standing out on the porch. And they heard that I was coming and said, that he done got saved. That Harry done got saved. <laughs> and so, so when I came and got out the car, when my cousin brought me home and started to step up for fresh feet on the step. And, and I just cried out with a loud voice. And power golfed on me. So, And my family was crying and crying and crying. And they were just all... Something was happy for me, but it was tears coming down, tears that, of joy. Isn't that something that yeah, back yeah. in the day it meant something for your yeah, family yeah, member to get yeah. saved? Back in them days, it was great. Wow. Amen. God saved me from amen, sin. He saved me from my sin. Amen. So I'm glad about it today. Me too. Amen. Pray the Lord. If we move, if we move forward, hmm. I remember as a child, I don't remember the day, but I remember one morning, you left early in the morning, and you went across the street. I never knew what you went over there for. I mm. just thought you was going early, maybe to turn the heat on at the church. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah. But I come to find out later that you took a tape recorder over there. Yeah, yeah. And you recorded a 90-minute tape, 90 backwards minute tape. and forwards. Song, yeah. And you never stopped singing. Never just stopped you and your singing. guitar. Yeah, 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. From 4 to 5 o'clock, I started playing and singing, and then stopped until that hour was full. The Tape was full and the hour was what, up. What made you do that? Because the Lord led me to pray. <laughs> so he said, get up and go to the church and pray. Because uh, that it, actually, that's one of my key moves right now at 4 o'clock in the morning. I start thanking of God. Just about every morning, I'm awake at 4 o'clock. I look at the clock. I just turn over there and look at it, and I start telling the Lord, thank you. Thank Sometimes you. I get up. But that's because I was born on the fourth month and the fourth day. April the fourth. The four always rang a bell with me. <laughs> and that's a good time for me to pray in the morning time. I I respect, you know, see, like, that's the time. Just like, you know, you're looking for the mail. You, the mail man's supposed to come at certain times. So, like, you you don't be there, you know, if you don't be there on time, the mail man, you don't come and go. So, it's so like it. I don't, I don't wake up at 4 o'clock and all that seem like I miss them. Yeah. You know, because it seems like that's God's anointing. It's time, that from, time for me to talk with the Lord. And, that's your time. You know, it's you quiet him. with the Lord. That's me and the Lord time. I don't feel, feel with nobody else. I can talk to him. That's talk to him in secret. He'll reward openly. Oh, wow. That's the way I look at it. So you went that's over to it. the church and you recorded a song yeah. and you recorded you mm -hmm. just sung what was in your heart? Yeah, I just sung one, never sung the same song for a whole hour. And with my guitar and sang, praise the Lord. Mm. And then, uh, you know, amen, ain't nothing like it. And the song was uh, somehow or another, somebody got a hold of the tape and I lost it. We never got somebody it back, never did get Whoever it got that to tape, it. we looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> But it's songs of inspiration. Like some people, you laying in your bed, don't feel good, you sick or whatever. The song will come. Even a preacher told me, he said, man, that tape has bring healing to people. So uh, it was the words of the song. Amen. Praise God. You know what I uh, what yeah. I understand yeah. about that, Dad, being in ministry myself, is that we may not have the best voice. Yeah. We may not play the best. Yeah. But we just use what God gives us, and, yeah, and he still can use us through that. God deal with you according to your knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, he, he don't go. Oh, he, he don't. He don't take you through nothing that you can't understand. He give you understanding. What what, yeah, is, what you know. is it? What does it mean to you to have your sons all play music? Uh, I, I play music. Mark plays music. Yeah. James can play. Yeah. Uh, he don't. He don't normally do it, but yeah, James can, can play, play drums. He's a very good drummer. Probably yeah, one of yeah. the best drummers in the yeah, family. Yeah. Michael can play drums. Yeah. And David can play multiple mm -hmm. instruments. How does yeah. it feel to have all of us? It, and Vicky sings. We won't leave her out. It's Vicky can sing. It's a blessing. It's a great breath that make me feel great to know that you're in the in the church and not in jail. <laughs> <laughs> And then, Amen. Say, and then you say your grandkids play, huh? And then your grandkids, grandkids is playing. Isaac here sitting over here. I said, boy, it's a miracle, man. I said, look what the Lord had done, boy. Yeah. yeah it made me feel. And I just glad, I glad to see people. It makes me happy because I know that when I do what the Lord tells me to do, it makes me feel good when I see the others come along in that way. Wow. And your mom was saying, you know, and Mark. Mark, he's uh, him and his family. He stretched out. Mark got the most children. 
And Mark, Mark got a choir, his own self. Yeah. Mark got Very a choir. Very talented. Yeah, family. he got Very a choir. I said, boy, man, you, man, you the one carrying my dream out. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he got more more kids than any of them do. He, he, they got a choir then. That always, but when we, me and my, my mom, me, oh, we got married, that was my, my thing. I said, well, well, I said, goodness, we all be together and we have a, have a choir. You we almost had a choir. You yeah. had a good quartet, but <laughs> yeah, we had a quartet for a for, yeah, for, quartet yeah, for a yeah, long while. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah, working yeah, on the choir? Yeah, <laughs> but I'm happy yeah. to see every one of them, right? Every one of you in that, in that, and in that. get that the deeper you can get in the Lord more. All that you know, it's a, you know, you're another generation, and so I'm just saying that go forward for what God got for you to do. Continue it, and and pleasing God. That's all I'm saying. You know, Amen. When you please God, ain't nothing I got to say. You know, that's tell the Lord thank you, give God the praise. That's what it means. There's yeah. a song that my dad sang. I made a remix of it uh, many years later, but I want to hear him sing it now. It's called Let the Words of My Mouth, yeah. the Meditations of My Heart, mm -hmm. be acceptable in thy sight. Okay. Oh, Lord. You yeah. can do that for me? Yeah. yeah. All you right, Dad. Sing that.
My dad used to sing this song everywhere we went. It said, here I come again, praising the Lord. Oh, here I come again, praising the Lord. Here I come again. I'm gonna sing it one more time, Dad. Here I come again, praise the Lord. Yeah, here I come again. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, here I come again, praise in the Lord. Hey, praise in the. I'm gonna let my dad take it over from here. Go ahead, Dad.
have the maestro sitting up here with us now. He's my younger brother, the second oldest boy, but when it comes to music, undoubtedly, hey, that's the maestro. And I've, uh, I've told Mark for a long time, he's one of my favorite musicians to play with, and I've learned so much from him. And um, down through the years when I've been music director, places, different places, touring on over the road, I still use to this day the wisdom that my brother has given me, and I'm not ashamed to tell that to anybody. My brother Mark is an organist, musician in his own right. How many instruments do you play? Man, I mean, we're not even talking about tuba, uh, baritone. We're not talking about a lot of the things that you played that, uh, throughout, throughout band. You went to school for tuba? Yeah. Had a scholarship amazing. for tuba? Yeah, too amazing. Wow. And now he, play, he plays the organ, guitar. He can play bass. Don't, and ask me how I found that out. And uh, you, you play drums at all? I can play, sir. Man, one man band. But anyway, what's some of your experiences growing up playing with uh playing with dad? What's some of the earliest memories you have? Well, the only memory I remember dad for y'all don't know, know, my dad would lead the praise the worship team, praise the worship service, lift the offering, preach <laughs> every and do altar call every Sunday. Amen. So and was, was the one over there turning the heat on in the church. And, he, <laughs> and he was digging at the same time, right? Uh, Until we got a little older, then he had us walk across the street. <laughs> but my only member is dad is uh, just washing his hands yeah. as a guitar player. Yeah. So even today, uh, keyboard's like, your bass line just sounds almost like a bass guitar. How did you learn that? I said, well, most of y'all don't know, I learned playing guitar first, watching my dad. Yeah. My dad and Uncle Matt, you know, they, they were the foundation. So I had an advantage over somebody just playing keys. I would listen to six strings playing, right? Versus just three notes on a keyboard, you know. So from from there, just watching him play, and after a while, get getting the hang of his style. Yeah. So it'd be, it'd be interesting sometime today where Dad the second song. I was like, okay, it don't feel right. I had to think, okay, what was the old style? Yeah, what was the old if style? My switching style. Yeah, everything just it right seems to work in. right out. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I I couldn't bend my fingers in the shape to play guitar like that. I, I still, I have trouble trying to make chords. So I would take dad's guitar and play a single line. That's where I learned to play bass. I would take my dad's six string guitar and when uh, Mark was playing keyboards or another drummer would come and uh, song service, I would grab dad's guitar. I could only play one string at a time. That's where I learned to play bass and that's why the first bass guitar I ever played was a six string bass, because it felt comfortable uh, to me to do that. But uh, I remember, as you know, as we stated earlier, uh, traveling with dad, we wasn't even 10 years old yet. I wasn't even 10, we were probably eight and six. Yeah. Barely could reach the pedals. Mark was man, on the edge of the organ bench, trying to you know, reach the pedals. And I still remember, dad, you, you, I don't know if you remember this or not, you preached a message at Elder White's church, I'll never forget it, no hitchhiker. I'll never forget that service because that was one of the first services where I really ever experienced the anointing coming down on me and Mark playing music to where it was memorable to me. Us that age playing music and just watching the church, just God just ushered through the church and people were dancing and shouting and you could feel the energy in the music. And it was, it was even though I was playing it, at the same time of playing it, I was, I was looking at it, observing it as well. I don't know if you remember that, Mark. I love that. It was so that, was, that was so long ago. But we were playing, and I mean, we were going for it. And I remember, I just remember, and then Dad preached no hitchhikers uh, after that. But uh, we've been traveling with my father for a long time. And I know this has always been a dream of his to have us play music behind us. And so we just thought, what could we do for his birthday? something that he will always remember and something we will always be able to hold on to. So that's why we wanted to bring you in, Dad, yeah. and, and play some music okay. and uh, have you sing. But, yeah. Work uh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Work a little bit. So we, right. we didn't keep you from Golden Corral on your birthday. We, we decided uh, we'd do it the night before. Yeah, it's a fact about my dad. So I had the pleasure of being his uh, music director at the local church, Gospel Tabernacle Church. So uh, the director, 
who his who is his nephew at the league can tell you that when he sings a song in um, choir rehearsal, there's no different from there. Yeah. Than Sunday morning or Sunday evening, he gets the same energy, real. the same the same feeling to everything. Yeah. So there's no no takes a break for for my dad to come to sing it. He when he sings, he put his all into it, even in rehearsal. Sometimes I gotta tell him. We don't need all that. We just need to get the gist of it. But <laughs> nah. he, he go on. He on. got one speed. And you have to you have to appreciate that. You know, uh, the day when people would take the day off or just I don't need that, he would just give us all the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So So Dad, I, I got what is your absolute favorite song? Do you have a favorite song? Uh, whatever the Lord I feel the Lord lead me to sing, I sing. Huh? Yes. Oh. oh. That what is your favorite song? Yes, oh how I love Jesus, yeah, boy. Oh how I love Jesus. Oh how I love Jesus because the church loved me. That that's oh how I love Jesus. Saying oh how I love Jesus. Oh how I love Jesus. Oh how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. It's going on to say something. One day when I was walking down that lonesome road, I heard his voice spoke unto me. It filled my heart with love. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus because he first loved me. Said I was in the dark and I could not see. In the dark and I could not see. In the dark and I could not see. The Lord remember me singing, Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh. Song said, Where would I be if Jesus didn't love me? Where would I be if he didn't care? Where would I be if he hadn't sacrificed his life? Oh, but I'm glad, so glad he did. He left his Mighty home in glory. in glory to bring this war redemption story. Story. Oh, he died and he rose again just for me and you. And I'm glad, so glad he did. Where would I be if Jesus didn't love? Where would I be if he didn't care? Oh, where would I be if he had sacrificed his life? Oh, but I'm glad, so glad he did. I like that. That favorite song, too. That's whatever. I think all of your favorite. Yeah, that's that's all of your favorite. Whatever it, it come there. If I be sitting in church and I got to sing a song, I just meditate. Whatever the Lord drop in me, that's what I say. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that ministry, Dad, down mm. through the years. It's yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. We, we, can't, we can't leave Mom out. Yeah, Mom's no. here singing background. Y'all saw Yeah. Come on up, Mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my mother, Evangelist Francis Grimson. Yeah. <laughs> so, where all this singing and stuff come from? Yeah. You sing it too, boy. I made it in the corner. 
when I first got in church at nine, well, I was singing before then because uh, I was singing. Um, our choir director at the, at, I mean, our uh, music director at the high school. I went to Brunswick High School and in, in, in the seventh grade, and that's what first year they integrated the schools. What? Yeah, and I wanted to go to Frederick, like 15 miles away to Lincoln High School, where all my sisters and brothers went. But they integrated that year, so I had to go to Brunswick High School. And uh, our music director, he had me singing at the uh, Lutheran Church in, down in Brunswick, Maryland. Oh, wow. I would walk from my house, my house down to town in Brunswick, Walk from the church there. We had these little white robes and little dark black skirts. Take that off and then walk up to Gospel Temple. Nine years old when the Lord saved me, and I'm so glad he did. So now we, we fast forward, and we down in Hellbird, Alabama. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yeah. And we still down there singing. Yeah. Still yeah. down there singing and praising the Lord. Uh -huh. yeah. As long as you know him, Dad, he's been singing, huh? Yeah. Yes. Lord have mercy. Playing that, I might have been playing not the same guitar. That yeah, guitar you had. Yeah, not the same one, but that's a, this is 1964. Yeah. That's a 1964 Fender Mustang. Fender. Yeah. Got my name on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had yeah. that guitar restored for Dad uh, a few mm -hmm. years ago as yeah. a gift. I yeah. Put it back in working order, and I was told, don't paint it, don't just leave it original. Mm -hmm. And it's still in good working shape. Yeah. As yeah. Mark demonstrated a while ago. Yeah. yeah. But we thank the Lord. Uh, We've been singing in church a long time. We've been singing family. Mm -hmm. And we've had our days. we had our ups and downs and whatever. But we've been praising the Lord and still making it through. Yeah. What's your favorite song, Ma? Hmm. I'm just putting you all on the I spot. I guess I really love the Lord. and um, That's the song I used to play for you. Did you? I really love the Lord. Yes. I really love the Lord. You don't know yeah. what he's done for me. <coughs> he gave me the victory. And I love... That's the song. Yes, I remember yes. that. Mm -hmm. I used to play the chord for two fingers, Mark. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mark, there's another song. I know oh, this yeah. is about dad, but there's another song you taught me the words to. There is always somebody talking about me, but really I don't mind. They try to stop and block my progress. Oh, most of the time, the mean things they say don't make me feel bad. Ah, how can I miss a friend that I never had? I got Jesus, and that's enough. That's enough. There is always somebody talking about me. Really, I don't mind. They try to stop and block my progress. Oh, most of the time. I got another one. But Jesus, he picks me up and he makes me feel glad. He's the best friend that I ever had. I got Jesus. Jesus, I got Jesus, and I got Jesus, and that's enough, that's enough. Well, we were singing family. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I would ask my sister if she was here, but she needs prayer <laughs> right about now. She done went off on, uh, what, 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 where she went? We're on a cruise somewhere. Oh, uh, somewhere. Country. Out the country. And ate something bad. We praying for her. <laughs> I love you, sis. But anyway, we're going to get back to mom and dad. Isn't it, isn't it, wasn't there a song y'all used to sing together? You and mom. It was a duet or something. Junior Child, them. Oh, y'all was in a singing group. Yeah. They was in a singing group. Vicky was too. Vic. She was with me. Oh, wow. Y'all left me out of that one. I guess I wasn't around around that time. <laughs> You was young. Y'all was in the singing group. Who was the lead singer? He was. You was? Wow, so it was you, Mom, Junior, Carol, and who else? Sister Carol. And Sister Carol. And Vicky. And Vi what was y'all's name? What was, it, was the group's name? I don't know. We had a name for the group. I don't remember. Just the singer? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, 
we can. Singing and praising the Lord. What's one of the songs y'all used to sing? Mm-hmm. What did I sing it a while ago? I sang it earlier. I forgot. One of the, it's one of the songs that I already sung. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. No, not that one. Well, that we, one. Did. we were saying that, too. Yeah. And that, too. But, uh, What's the song y'all used to sing together? Well, I know y'all, like, y'all done been called for a duet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to think no, of that. Really. No. I come, I'm trying to think, and like I said, I can't think of one that, one, I sang one of them a while ago, the early part of the service, early part ago, I'm saying. Oh, Lord, something. It was oh slow. Lord, it was oh slow. Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I forgot what it was. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, then. This is what we're going to do. Yeah. Both of y'all know the song, City Called Heaven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to let mom and dad go for it. Is that all right? Okay. And maybe I want me, want me to start it off or y'all got it? Go ahead, start it off. <laughs> I don't know what key y'all saying. Mark, what's the key? What, what's the key they can sing that in? Yeah. 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 Somewhere I gotta make it Lord help me to make it City called heaven Somewhere Come on ma Oh there's a City called heaven Yes city, city called, called heaven. heaven City, city called, called heaven, heaven Somewhere, somewhere. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta make it Yeah Help me to make it uh, city, city called call heaven Come on somewhere. Bishop City call heaven, city call heaven, city call heaven somewhere. I gotta make it, help me to make it. City call heaven somewhere. There is a city, city call heaven, city call heaven, city call heaven. I gotta make it. I've got to make it. I got to make it. I got to make it. Keep on praying. I got to make it. Keep on working. I got to make it. Keep on singing. I got to make it. 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 Lord help me, Lord help me, Lord help me, Lord help me. I gotta make it, I gotta make it. Through the storm, through the rain, through the sickness and the pain, I gotta make it. to my father, my mother, my brother, and my nephew on the drums, Mr. Isaac, stepping right in. And our camera person, media team in the back, thank you very much for making this happen. 
Hey, I'm Pastor John Grimsley here, pastor at House of Refuge in Bear, Delaware. And this is what we do. We just love to praise the Lord. So, once more, one more time, we're going to go out on this song. Here I come again, praising the Lord. Oh, here I come again. Praising the Lord. Yes, here I come again. Oh, praising the Lord. Praising praise. the name of the Lord. Here I come again, yeah. Praising the Lord. Oh, here I come again. Oh, here I come again. Praise in the Lord. Oh, praise in the name of the Lord. He saved me from my sin. Praise in the Lord. He to save me from my sin. Praise in the Lord. Yes, he saved me from my sin. Oh, yeah. praise in the Lord. Oh, praise, praise in the name of the Lord. Lord. Give me peace of mind. And not a God of full off, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. Can any man hide himself that I cannot see him? Then he said, Do not I feel the heaven and the earth? God present feels the heaven and the earth. So I get out of that that God is, he, since he feels the heaven and the earth, you don't have to look him up. He's here. God is in the midst. Say, he's here now. Wherever I'm at, God is already there. He don't have to come. He's a I am God. He's a I am God. Not that I got to be. I am. I am mean I'm present tense all the time. Yeah. His presence fills the heaven and the earth. That's why he said, you know, the man... He can see he can see us all the time. At night we can't see without a light. So, you know, his eyes is not like that. He's always been He's always yeah, he sees all the time. And if you've ever been on the receiving end of my dad's four o'clock phone calls in the morning, <laughs> I was honored and blessed <laughs> a few months ago. My dad called me around that time in the morning to tell me, and you just said a, a portion of it, I am God. Yeah. But what my dad's message to me was this, yeah. besides me, yeah. there is none other. There is no God beside him. So if you don't know God in the pardon of your sin, it would do my dad a great joy that if you would just listen to this over again, join in in the melodies and sing the song with them and I guarantee you'll feel joy in your heart. Give your life to God. Dedicate your life to God. Get saved. Get baptized. Join a local church. Take Christ's yoke upon you and learn of him. That way you can be saved and we can reach that city called heaven somewhere. I think I don't warm him out so we're going to get him something to eat and let him go on back home. God bless you. Until next time. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Mm.